The film begins with a young girl named and who is praying to God in her room, scared and frightened. And's mother is knocking on the door from outside, but and does not open the door. After that, her mother starts banging her head on the door in a very scary way. This tells us that and was actually afraid of her mother because she was possessed by a demon. After that, we are shown the time after many years. Now and has grown up and she has become a nun. The film tells us that many people in the city have been possessed by demonic spirits and their cases are increasing. Due to this, the Catholic Church in the city has decided to reopen its religious school once again. This school was running since 1835, after which it was closed. In this school, the art of controlling demons with the help of ancient sacred chant is taught, which we call exorcism. And Anne is sent to this school to take care of 25 people. And wants to learn exorcism, but here exorcism is only taught to men, not women, which is why Anne is refused to teach exorcism. And is given the responsibility of taking care of a 10-year-old girl named Natalie. And takes good care of Natalie. Because of this, Natalie also likes Anne very much. But soon we find out that Natalie is not a normal child, but she is also possessed by a demon. At night, when Anne goes to her room to sleep, she hears the sound of someone crying in the corridor. When she comes into the corridor and looks around, there is no one. But as soon as she turns around, Natalie is standing in front of her. Natalie is also surprised to see Anne, because all 25 people are kept locked in their rooms here. Only a few special people can open their doors at night and leaves Natalie back to her room and when she is coming down, she hears some noises again. But this time, those noises seem familiar to Anne. She follows the noises and reaches a hall, where Father Quinn is showing his students a picture of a girl. This girl was also possessed by a demon, so she was also brought to school. But exorcism did not work on this girl and she died. And was also interested in exorcism, so she also sits in the class. Father explains that the most important thing to be successful in exorcism is that we have complete faith in God. We also need to remember the mantras very well, because the demonic forces and their companions try to mislead us. As a result, many times the person performing exorcism also dies. The next day, and takes out the file of the girl about whom Father Quinn was telling everyone at night. This girl also has an audio file in which she says that she always hears a strange voice. After hearing this, and remembers her childhood, when her mother was also possessed by a demon. Actually, Anne's mother also had a voice, which always told her that I did not come here to you, but to take your daughter. Because your daughter is a soldier of God, who will fight against us one day. And wants to read the records of other people in the library, but the head of the library refuses to give Anne any record. The head also forbids Anne from going to father's class and asks the head why only men are allowed to perform exorcisms. She says that women can also do it and she wants to learn how. Father Queen, who was teaching the exorcism class that Anne attended at night, enters the room. He supports Anne and says that if she wants to learn, they should let her. The head says that they cannot teach and because it could be dangerous for her. Later, we see Anne taking care of an elderly man. The man starts to hum a tune that Anne recognizes as one that her mother used to hum when she was a child. The man attacks Anne and starts dancing with her in a creepy way. However, before he can hurt her, he faints. The head and father queen call the school priest to their office. They tell him that the devil, which had been dormant for years, has been reawakened because of Anne. The head suggests that they send Anne away, but father queen says that this will not work. He argues that it would be better to teach Anne how to perform exorcisms herself, since she wants to learn. The head is not in favor of this because women are not usually taught exorcisms at the school. However, the priest supports Father Queen and says that they could at least teach Anne how to protect herself. Father Queen also reveals that he feels that Anne has a deep connection with the devil. And begins attending a special exorcism class, but the other students are not happy about it. In the next scene, all of the students are taken to a room where Natalie, the girl that Anne was caring for, is being held. Natalie's condition has deteriorated significantly, and the devil has taken complete control of her. Two men are sent into the room to perform an exorcism on Natalie. When she sees them coming, Natalie starts walking upside down on the wall in a terrifying way. The glass in the room is one way, so the people outside can see inside, but the people inside cannot see outside. Everyone is standing outside, watching. 
but the next moment, Natalie stands in front of the glass, on the other side of which Anne is standing. It seems that Natalie can see Anne clearly. The devil inside Natalie tells Anne, I want to come inside you. Let me come inside you. Natalie's condition starts to worsen even more. So Father Queen enters the room, but the devil also attacks Father. After that, and also enters. And tells Natalie, pull yourself together, which makes Natalie suddenly feel better. But after a while, Natalie's hair starts to go into her mouth. After that, two students come in and pull Natalie's hair out of her mouth, which is being pulled in by a devil's hand. After that, Father Queen calms Natalie down by chanting holy saints. At night, and goes to Natalie again and asks her, how are you now? Natalie says, I just had a very scary dream, in which I went to a place where there were many souls. They were all screaming very badly. A voice there was telling me to do the same. And I saw you among those people. And gets a little worried after hearing this from Natalie. After that, and tries to find out about other serious cases by taking out their files, which tells her that all the people who are dominated by the devil, all those people slowly break down from inside. Their condition worsens, after which they are killed. Here, and also sees a video recording of a girl, in which the girl tells that the devil makes us feel guilty about our sins and its shame. And after realizing our bad deeds, man loses to himself, and in this way the devil wins. And even after the devil comes out of us, we live in guilt for the rest of our lives. After knowing all this, and immediately goes to Father Queen and tells Father that we should teach people to become strong from within during exorcism, because the devil makes them feel guilty about the sins they have committed and their shame, which makes them break down inside. Father Queen tells and that if that is the case, then why did the devil possess that ten-year-old innocent child? What guilt will a small child have inside? And has no answer to this. Anne's classmate Dante is standing outside listening to Anne and Father Queen talking. He tells Anne that his sister is very ill. She has also been possessed by a devil. Now only you can help me. After that, Anne goes to Dante's house with him. And assures the girl that she has not committed any sin and God still loves her. Hearing all this, her sister starts to recover, which makes the devil very angry and he takes control of the girl. But now, because Dante's sister has no guilt or shame, the devil loses to her and in this way, and saves the girl's life. After leaving the house, and tells Dante that after my mother's death, I was adopted by a wealthy family, but after a few years, I became pregnant without marriage, which caused the family a lot of shame and they kicked me out of the house. After that, I gave birth to a daughter, but the nurse took her from me because I could not take care of her. But then I decided that one day I will also become a nun and help people. I left a cross with my daughter that my mother gave me in childhood. I think that was my sin, for which God has never forgiven me. To which Dante tells her that I don't think so. I have seen the glimpse of God in you many times. He has forgiven you a long time ago. They both come back to school talking. When Anne goes to her room, something strange comes out of her eyes, but they don't know what it is. The next morning, the school priest calls into his office, where there are other people as well. The priest tells him that after you performed an exorcism on your friend's sister, she committed suicide. You should not have done that. You have not yet fully learned exorcism. And feels very bad after hearing all this and she says that I have made a big mistake. Now she is sent back to the Vatican. Dr. Peters comes to meet Anne in the Vatican, who explains to Anne and says that you are a good person. You are currently on a completely new path, where humans make mistakes. Dr. Peter also tells Anne about Natalie that Natalie's exorcism was performed, which was completely successful. The next day, Dante comes to meet Anne and tells her that when Natalie was being taken home, the devil once again took control of her and became completely uncontrollable. As a result, she also killed three people. And is very saddened to hear this. Dante gives Anne a cross pendant and says that Natalie gave him this cross when she was possessed and said that I should pass it on to you. After seeing Natalie's cross, we get the biggest plot reveal of the movie. After seeing the cross, and realizes that Natalie is her daughter. The cross is her mother's, which she put on her child's hand. And now we understand why the devil made Anne's daughter Natalie his prey. The devil wants Anne to feel guilty and become weak inside, after which she will be completely under the control of the devil. And wants to save her daughter Natalie at any cost, so she also reaches the place where exorcism has been performed on people who have become very dangerous since 1835. 
Natalie is being held behind bars and is being exorcised, but the exorcism has no effect on her. And arrives and the devil comes out completely after seeing and in front of her and kills two of the people who are exorcising Natalie. And now and comes in front of the devil. And tries to calm Natalie down, but Natalie still has the devil inside her. Seeing Natalie's condition, and realizes why her mother committed suicide in childhood. Because she did not want the devil inside her to ever enter her daughter. And now and is in front of her daughter, who has the same devil inside her. And and wants to save her daughter. Therefore, and asks the demon to come into her to save Natalie, after which the devil takes full control of her. Father picks up Natalie and takes her away from there to a safe place, but and is now completely possessed. He imprisons father behind bars and reaches Natalie and starts killing her by drowning her in the holy water there. But before she could do anything, Anne's mother's soul arrives there, who had always been with Anne. Her mother makes her realize who she is and how many people have sacrificed themselves to save her. After remembering all this, and starts to fight with herself. After that, wearing her holy cross, she drowns in that holy water. After drowning in the holy water, the devil inside her comes out of her body. After that, we are directly shown the scene of the hospital. And is now in the hospital and here Natalie comes to meet Anne. But Anne does not tell Natalie that she is her real mom. And tells Natalie that I am very happy for you and you are now completely healed. After that, Natalie goes with them who adopted Natalie. And also goes to her school, where she is again allowed to learn exorcism so that she can help people. In the end, we see that when Anne is sitting in her car and going somewhere, then a woman is constantly staring at her on the way. From this we can guess that the devil is still chasing Anne. And with this, the movie ends. How did you like this movie, do tell us by commenting. And do subscribe to our channel.